Hey everyone, it's Cupquake. Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to show you guys how I did my makeup for Halloween. I know Halloween is over, but you guys really seem to love the makeup and the cosplays this year, and I had a ton of fun doing them. So I think I might implement some cosplays throughout the whole year. I hope you guys are okay with that. But we are going to create a makeup look today. It's gonna be a Wonder Woman makeup look, but as if she was in a comic book. So it's a really cool art style and I thought it'd be really fun to show you guys. So let's get started. So start off with a clean face. Don't mind the white in my hair. I was um, in a Halloween costume before shooting this and I couldn't get the white out. So I'm gonna start off by priming my face. I'm using Yves Saint Laurent primer. It's my favorite. And then I'm gonna use a concealer. This is by NARS and it is a lighter shade than my normal skin color. You don't have to put any on your forehead because we will be painting on that, but cover your whole face along with your neck. And then I'm gonna put some NARS concealer on my cheeks, along the bridge of my nose and my chin. Then I'm gonna grab a blending sponge and blend that in. I'm also placing a little bit of concealer on my forehead near my brows. And then we're gonna blend that in again. Now I'm going to use a MAC bronzer for my eyelids. I just want a little darker shade, kind of giving the shadow effect onto my eyelids. I'm also going to place this on one side of my nose. And don't worry if it creates like a really harsh line, we really want to get that to make it look like my face is flat. So next I'm gonna grab the same concealer and with a blush brush, I'm going to place this on one side of my face. So the left side of my face is gonna be the shadow side. Place this as if the light was hitting your cheekbone, so you should have a harsh line right on your cheek. Now I'm gonna grab my Moon Dust Palette from Urban Decay and use a glittery color here just to add some variation. And I'm gonna use my favorite matte lipstick. This is Lime Crime, and I'm grabbing a bright red. So for Wonder Woman, we wanna really exaggerate the lip shape. So I am making my top lip bigger than my bottom lip. Then I'm gonna grab some black eyeshadow and we're gonna create the shadow on the lip. So again, when doing this, remember where your light source is and place the shadow accordingly. So I'm making it darker on my left side because that is how the light is going to face. And then don't worry, I'm gonna clean up my lips after this. Uh, because I accidentally smudged it on one corner. So next I'm grabbing a black liquid lipstick. This is again by Lime Crime. And I'm grabbing a thin detail brush and I'm going to draw around almost my entire lip with the black to create a nice comic line. So I'm not going to color in the right bottom side of the lip. I'm actually gonna go in and sharpen up this edge with some red lipstick. So here's how the lips look. Then I'm gonna grab some black eyeliner. This is by M Cosmetics and it is a felt tip brush. It's one of my favorite eyeliners and it really lasts all night. So I'm gonna create a wing and then I'm also gonna place this on my bottom lower lid. Next, I am going to put on some black mascara. If you have eyelashes, I would recommend putting them on as well. And then I'm gonna grab some black Meron face paint and we're gonna draw on the line details. So I'm starting off with the nose. Again, remember the shadows, what direction the light is hitting your face, if you were a drawn comic, and then just accent those lines by creating a dark black line. It'll kind of look weird at first, but once you get it on your whole face, it'll make complete sense. So I'm making a couple detail lines and then I'm using the dark black face paint to color in my eyebrows. And then again, I'm going in and connecting the line on the shaded face just to make that shadow a little more prominent. So I decided to go in with the black face paint and make my eyes a little bit darker. I'm also going to place this all along the bottom of my jaw. I really wanted to thin out my face and make the jawline a little bit more prominent. So I'm kind of changing the shape of my face here and making it look more true to Wonder Woman's face. So next, I'm going to go a little bit down my neck and I'm going to accent some of my shadows 
that I have from my clavicle and on my neck. Then I also decided to go in and create some lines to act as shadows and shading. And I'm placing the shading again on the side that has more shadow to it. So nothing too crazy here, just adding a little bit of detail that will show when I'm wearing my shirt and then adding a little bit of shading on the eyes and then drawing one line along my cheekbone that separates the dark and the light and also adding some on my chin. Then I'm going in with white Meron face paint and adding a shine onto the top lips and the bottom lips. You can add a little shine wherever you want on the face where you think the light will hit most. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on a black wig. So this is a lace front wig. I'll put the information in the description where I got this. I believe it's Arda Wigs, but I'm gonna draw on her headdress directly onto my forehead. And it's easier to do when you have the wig on so you know how far you actually have to go. And when you're using lace tape, you don't get it on the paint, so it sticks on your head. So for her headdress, I'm using gray in Meron face paint, and I'm just putting the base shape then my pack came with a silver color and I thought it looked cool because it has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I am trying to make this headdress look like it's shiny. So the way that I'm doing that is just using grays, silver, blacks, and whites. And I'm going to outline this whole thing in black and then with upward strokes, add in the black lines and the silver lines and also some white lines too. So next for the star, it's supposed to be directly in the center of your forehead, but drawing a star on yourself using a mirror seems like it would be easy, but it's pretty challenging. So I had to go in and correct this a little bit once the paint dried. I just got the base shape in one red color and then in a lighter red color, uh, went in and put some highlights then I'm outlining the whole thing and then correcting some of my mistakes with the gray paint. Then I'm adding some white highlights onto this star. I added a little bit of eyeshadow to the top to blend it with my hairline. So next I'm adding a little bit of eyeshadow onto my eyes as well. I'm adding some of Too Faced's highlighter onto my cheeks and my nose and that completes the comic book Wonder Woman look. I think this is such a cool look and you can really customize it however you like, go crazy with it. You don't have to go based off of a picture because all the comics are drawn differently. But I really do love how the makeup turned out and I wore this out on Halloween and it was pretty cool because it, <laughs> it was like a different type of makeup that no one has seen before really out in public. But it was a lot of fun to wear and I definitely think I would love to do more comic looks. So if you guys have any suggestions on which ones I should try, leave a comment below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Cupquake. I will see you all later. Bye.